So Exa is a company that specializes in making gaming headsets and they reached out to me and they said look we got this new product and it's a gaming true wireless earbuds would you like to try it and I said gaming true wireless earbuds hmm doubt but you know what I said hey yes definitely I am excited to try them out and I was eagerly waiting for this package to arrive and I have had them here for I think about a month now and I have to say I am really enjoying these true wireless earbuds so are these really gaming true wireless earbuds because here's the thing there is a reason why all gaming headsets are wired and the ones that are not wired you know they are there are wireless headsets but these are never Bluetooth they usually have well not usually they always have an RF transmitter because Bluetooth is too slow generally speaking for gaming appliances uh, not appliances applications Bluetooth is too slow for gaming applications latency is a very big problem because if you are playing a first-person shooter for example you really want to hear that shot the moment that it's fired because if you listen to that shot half a second later you're already dead so do the Exa GT1 meet the requirements necessary for being a true wireless true gaming headset let's check it out So let's start by what you get in the box. First of all, the box is really nice, it has a very nice theme. It's really nice, it has a very nice theme. It's all black with some purple accents and we can see on the features listed in the box, 38 milliseconds, ultra low latency. That's a very bold promise right there. It has one touch switch for game mode and music mode, so that's interesting. And it says 30 hours of ultra long battery life. So that's very very promising all right upon taking it out from the cover I really like the fact that this has a magnetic magnetic lid I think magnets give everything a premium feel so in the box you get of course the manual you get the two wireless earbuds of course and you also get some extra silicone tips from not from that have different sizes so that you can adjust them to best fit your ear canals and you have a very small but very useful USB-C cable I often get very disappointed when I see USB headsets be that Bluetooth or any device that uses USB and they are not USB-C so this one having a USB-C right here is a win it's the very first win in these GT1s so the charging case slash carrying case is very small as you can see relative to my hand but it is kind of thick it does make a little bit of a bulge in your pocket but it does fit it does <laughs> but it does fit the coin pocket very nicely it is completely made of plastic which is kind of expected and it houses a 500 milliamp battery which enables charging your earbuds up to five times for a total of 30 hours of playtime maximum total now this one has LEDs on both the left side and the right side and they light up when you are charging the case as well as when you are charging the earbuds. The LEDs on the case indicate the battery level of the case only, not of the earbuds. When the earbuds are charging, you only see the battery level of the case and the LEDs are turned on, they are fixed. When the case itself is charging, the LEDs blink according to the percentage of the battery level. Even though there are four LEDs on each side, they turn on in parallel, meaning that if it's 25%, for example, only one LED from each side is going to turn on. One thing to note, and I think it's a little bit of a missed opportunity, in, and I'm going to show you right now, when you put the earbuds in for charging, as you can see the LEDs light up and they stay on until they are done charging so right now right now as you can see there are three LEDs meaning that the case itself is at around 75% charge so these LEDs remain on while the earbuds are charging and I think it's a missed opportunity because this is unnecessary waste of energy on the battery I mean, it's good that you can see that the earbuds are charging, but uh, I don't know, maybe you could have 
put you know just a very tiny led somewhere to let you know that it's charging but you know oh well it is what it is it really doesn't take away from the fact that it's 30 hours of charging time so uh, that's still pretty good not 30 hours of play time actually so again that's still pretty good so the earbuds themselves they are completely black except for the leds which as you can see have like an eye alien eye kind of shape so they are really really nice they look really slick when you take them out they start pairing and they are very very quick to connect that's already paired and as you take out the second one it pairs I won't say instantly, but it is very, very quick to pair. One thing that I like about these earbuds is that they are always in perfect sync. I mean, when we first started having true wireless earbuds, there was always this issue with the earbuds always getting out of sync. Maybe one would be delayed compared to the other one, and it was always a very big mess. You always had to wait for them to sync, otherwise the music would be very funky and not in a good way. And these are always always in perfect sync which is something that i really like a lot these are super lightweight they are very very small they are about 3.5 centimeters or one point less than 1.5 inches actually less than 1.4 or 1.3 something inches you know you do the conversion 3.5 centimeters they are very very tiny they are super lightweight and that makes them very very comfortable you put them in your ear and they're very easy to forget well not really forget because i never forget that i have them there but they are very easy to ignore and even though these are made entirely out of plastic maybe some internals for metal but whatever they are made entirely out of plastic and despite that these have a very very nice build to them they do not creak they do not wobble they do not bend at any way or at any point these are excellent in their build quality is something that i really like these have touch controls that are located just over the logo right here where it says exa which is basically the very center of the stem you can hold it from the top of the stem and the bottom of the stem without activating anything but if you touch the right in the middle of the stem then it will trigger the touch functionality now the touch controls are very very simple they are only for pause and play music answering or hang up calls and switching from music mode to game mode with a double tap or a triple tap will invoke your assistant and that's pretty much it there is no next track previous track or volume controls with this which some people might miss but i think it's actually a good thing because you don't have to fiddle around figuring out which is the gesture or the touch sequence to activate either one of those controls so they kept it they kept it very simple and i think that's very good these touch controls are very responsive sometimes maybe even a little too responsive because they do have some accidental touches especially when you want to uh, either put them in your ear or remove them from your ear or maybe just try to make a minor adjustment it is kind of easy to trigger if you well especially at the beginning when you are not used to handling this the way in a way that will not trigger these false touches or accidental touches rather but what about the sound this is one of the things that really impressed me about these little tiny earbuds they sound great they're not amazing you know idophile level but they do sound really really great i was impressed i did try them with very with a wide variety of genres music genres and Pretty much everything that I listened to on this, it sounded really, really good. There is no soundstage. I mean, you will hear the music right inside your ear canals, but they do have very good imaging, meaning that the sound separation on the left and right channels is very, very clear. If you have music that has very, very good mixing, for example, I listened to Michael Jackson's Thriller, and Thriller has a very special mix because there are instruments on the left channel and there are instruments on the right channel and some sounds go from the left to the right or vice versa and the mixing that they did on that song sounds incredibly good on these earbuds again soundstage there is none because you will hear the music pretty much inside your head or right in your ear canals however instrument separation is very good there is a, enough clarity to distinguish between instruments 
and the positioning of the instruments in regards to the, to the left or right channel is excellent. I do left and right because I, you know, on the camera it's inverted. These earbuds are even good for vocals. Like I said, anything that I listen to this, I found it to be very, very pleasing. What about calls? One thing that concerned me about this type of earbuds being so small is that the microphone is really far away from your mouth. So I really had very low expectations regarding the call quality, but how about you listen for yourself? This is how the microphone sounds on the GT1 true wireless gaming headset made by Exa. I think it sounds pretty good. There's a good amount of voice compression which helps in clarifying the voice clarity. Clarifying the voice clarity. It helps in clarifying the voice, making it very clear for people to listen to when you are on a voice call. This is basically how it sounds like when you are in a call with these uh, true wireless earbuds. Now, I have been listening to it and I think it sounds really, really good. When you have both of them paired, only the right microphone, only the right microphone picks up the voice. When you use them individually, each earbud has its own microphone. So you can use either one. If you want to, to only use one, then you're good to, to have on the calls as well. So as you can hear, these are actually surprisingly good for calls. I was very pleasantly surprised at how good the voice compression is on this. They do a good enough job at isolating your voice from the background. That's not to say that these are noise cancelling in any way, shape or form. However, the voice compression is so good that the background noises can be sort of ignored. They are not completely eliminated, but they can be easily ignored. Any time that I have made a phone call with this, I have never had to repeat myself. And that really does say a lot in a good way about these earbuds regarding voice calls. Even though the microphones are very, very far away from the mouth, the voice is picked up very, very clearly. And I guess, well, the compression helps a lot with uh, making the voice clearer, but be that as it may, the bottom line is that these are excellent earbuds for calls. Now, these earbuds can be used individually, meaning that uh, you don't have to use both of them at the same time, except for pairing. The first time that you do pair them, you do need to have both of them on. But once they are both paired, you can put one of them away and you can use either one for calls. However, uh, I think I mentioned that in the mic test, when both of them are paired, when you are using both of them, the right one is the one that will have the active microphone. So you surely recall that I mentioned that these have a game mode. So what exactly is that? Now, it might be obvious to you, but it wasn't obvious to me. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I had my expectations a little bit too high. But when I heard game mode, I was actually expecting something of a wider soundstage, maybe a virtual surround or something like that but that's not exactly it. So whenever I activate a game mode, which you do by double tapping on the middle of the stem on either one of the two earbuds, you do hear an audible game mode on. And when you switch back to music mode, you hear music mode on. And I really couldn't tell the difference at first. I had a lot of trouble figuring out what was the difference. I was maybe expecting, uh, if not a virtual surround, ambient or environment or you know soundstage maybe the bass or equalization or something different in the music mode however i did not really hear or listen to any difference and it was not until i started playing several games and the one that actually led me to figuring out what it was was clash of clans i don't know that's kind of a silly game to to use to find to figure this out but you know anyway the game mode actually activates the ultra low latency mode on these earbuds when i saw the 38 milliseconds ultra low latency in the box i actually thought that it referred to it being a permanent state of the bluetooth earbuds so i guess this is why i was expecting the game mode to be something else entirely but the truth is that the game mode activates this 38 millisecond ultra low latency and i have to say it is really 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 good you do not perceive the latency i mean 38 milliseconds is what 
3.8% of a second because, you know, 38 milliseconds out of 1000 milliseconds. It's basically no latency. I mean, you do not perceive it, you do not feel it, and you can actually tell the difference. Sometimes when you, well, when I'm watching a YouTube video using these earbuds, if I have the video minimized or I'm not looking at the screen, it's really not an issue. But if you are looking at the video itself while you are listening to it, you sometimes do notice the latency when it's in music mode. So when I activate the game mode, you can see pretty much in real time the lips of the person talking as well as the voice of the person completely in sync with what you are seeing. So this ultra low latency is actually really, really good. And it helps, like I mentioned before, with first person shooters such as Call of Duty. You can actually listen to a gunshot the moment that it is fired. Because like I said before at the beginning, if you hear a gunshot half a second later, you're already dead. So these sound really good. They have excellent ultra low latency and they are great for calls. So all of this would not matter too much if these are uncomfortable, right? But they are actually very, very comfortable. I can wear this for hours at a time. And I'm not going to say that I forget that I have them on, but they are very easy to ignore. Meaning that I get used to having them on my ears. I do not have to worry about them falling off because they basically never fall off. I think out of all the days that I have been using this, only once did the left earbud begin to fall off. I do have other true wireless earbuds that have a similar design in, in regards to it being in ear canal type of earbuds and those I have to be constantly adjusting well no matter what I'm doing I have to be constantly adjusting and they become a bit of an annoyance well not a bit a lot of an, a major annoyance but not this ones these ones you put them in your ears and they stay there I use the, the smaller silicone tip I use that silicone tip with every single earbud that I ever wear I always use the smallest ones and these are one of the few earbuds that never fall off. I have had uh, I have had others that are smaller than this. You know, basically the similar kind of design without the stem, and those also fall off unless I kind of like screw them, so to speak. I have to make this screwing type of motion to really get them inside my ear canal for them not to fall off. Not this ones. This ones because they are wide enough and they have the, the little stem. And these are also so lightweight that gravity is not really a problem with this. So you set them on. You can you can forget them. I don't forget that I have them. I do feel them. That's why I can't forget that I have them. But they are so easy to ignore because you don't have to be adjusting them all the time. The the biggest test I can say with these earbuds were having them on while I am talking. And when I in while I am chewing, for example, when I'm eating, and this remained in my ears with absolutely no problems. So that was very, very surprising to me, very, very pleasing to me, because I can listen to HBO Max when I'm, you know, watching my TV series or listening to my podcast. They sound, they do very well with vocals, and I can do all of that while I am eating, which is really, really good. I don't have to be adjusting them at all. I just put them on and I leave them on and that's great. Again, if I have to answer a call, I can have my phone calls with absolutely no problems, with full clarity. People never ask me to repeat myself, which is something that I really, really enjoy about this. And of course, the gaming aspect, which is what they are meant to be used for mobile gaming, obviously, because you're not going to be doing much competitive gaming, I think, or not much voice chat. I think only Call of Duty Warzone is the only one that I've seen that supports voice chat. I don't really use it for that. I just listen to music, podcasts, and, you know, the occasional casual games with this. They are amazing in a single word. I almost forgot to talk about the battery life. The battery life on this is really, really good. It's not amazing, but it is very, very good. They can last up to six hours on a single charge and the case will let you charge about five times for a total of 30 hours. I think the case lets you charge four times because you got the first six hours and four more times of, you know, six hours. So that sums up 30. So I guess <laughs> I haven't really tried to figure out how many times I can charge this because as soon as I'm done using them, I just put them in the case and then they're ready to use. They're, they are topped off 
for the, for the next time that I need to use them, which is really good. Basically, I don't have to worry at all about this running out of battery. Okay, so I think I've rambled on and on enough about this. Let me sum it up. Pros, what I like about these earbuds. The first one being that they do actually deliver on the promise of them being gaming through wireless earbuds. The latency is so low that you do not perceive it at all, which makes it easy to play your games which are latency sensitive in regards to audio you know such as uh, call of duty warzone any first person shooters where you do have to listen to the shots the moment that they are fired i was very very pleased with the sound on this for pretty much all the music genres that i tested it with they are excellent for vocals as well which means that people singing they sound great podcasts sounds great your YouTube videos will sound great. Everything sounds great. I mean, not audio file level great, but you know, $50 great, definitely. I really love the fact that they are excellent for voice calls. I can use them. You know, these are pretty much my single purpose or my multi-purpose actually single earbuds that I use. And by single, I mean that I'm not switching from headset to headset unless I go out, in which case I might prefer to, to use my my HE6 because they rest on my neck. They are less, less, there is less probability to lose this, obviously, than to lose uh, the earbuds. But I am still comfortable with taking the GT1s with me when I go out. I also really like the fact that they have simple controls, you know, just play, pause, answer, or hang up calls, and invoke your assistance if you ever need it and switch to gaming mode when you need it. No fiddling around with which is the touch sequence for the next track, previous track, or for the volumes. You can just do that by taking out your phone. And finally, that they are super quick to connect and they are always in sync. Connectivity is excellent on these tiny little GT1 earbuds. Of course, these are not perfect, nothing ever is, and they do have a little uh, caveats here and there because the touch sensitivity on this is so good too good maybe they are very prone to accidental touches at least at the beginning when you are still getting used to how to properly hold them so that you don't activate the touch basically you need to be really careful about holding them from the sides of the stem and try not to touch the you know the front of the stem so to speak some people may miss the lack of control you know being able to control the music volume or the tracks some people may miss them i really don't there have been times where no actually i have never missed the the track control the volume control of this so at least for me it's okay some people might miss it that's what i'm trying to say and i guess the one thing that i really do miss having on this is the ability to work out with them. It's not that I'm an athlete or something, but I would rather not have to switch to another Bluetooth headset for me to be able to work out. I'm not saying this will get ruined if you sweat them, but there is no water resistance rating or moisture resistance rating in the manual or in the listing, so I wouldn't risk working out with them, especially because they sound so good and I would be really, really sad to lose these earbuds. In my opinion, maybe the biggest caveat with this is that the case, this right here, the LEDs at night can get very, very bright to the point that they can be a little bit annoying. If, for example, you want to stop using your earbuds and go to sleep when you put them in the charger and you set them under your nightstand or you know next to your bed or whatever, the LEDs can be very, very bright, and if you really like your room to be pitch dark, then they can be very distracting. So one time that I actually had to put them to charge while I was sleeping or when I went to sleep, I had to cover them or find a way to cover them because the LED lights were so bright that they were too distracting. So that's, for me, the biggest annoyance that they have. It's not a deal breaker by any means. I can just put them outside of the room for charging or just not charging overnight because what I usually do is that I'm using, I'm listening to them and while I'm listening to them, I have them on a quick charge, you know, and they, they don't really need to be topping up all the time. As long as you have enough charge for one listening session, then it's all good. Like I said, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm really not 
ever thinking whether or not I will have enough battery on my earbuds. I'm always confident I will have battery on my earbuds. So again, it's a, it's a very small annoyance, but it does annoy me. LED is a little too bright at night. But other than that, from my use, I found absolutely no deal breakers with this. So I can very confidently say, I do recommend this. They have my approval. This review was made with a retail sample provided by the distributor. However, they had no editorial input, nor did they see a preview of it, and they provided no compensation in exchange for the making of this video. In other words, all opinions are my own. So there you have it. How did you like this GT1 gaming true wireless earbuds? Do you think that they live up to the gaming status? I actually do think at least for mobile gaming, for casual gaming, these are perfect. For music listening, they are very, very good. I was very impressed. And I really would like to listen or hear, read your comments on this. Are you considering one? Is there something that you would like different about this? I don't know. Or do you have any suggestions about similar earbuds that you would like me to try? So I really hope that you found this video helpful or at the very least entertaining. If you did, let the glorious YouTube algorithm know by ever so gently clicking that like button and maybe subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. In the meantime, if you are willing or wanting to see another of my headset reviews, go ahead and click right here. And in the meantime, I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, may God bless you all.